Rachel Lord was born in Willard, Kansas, and currently lives in Manhattan, Kansas. She received a Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree with a concentration in painting at Kansas State University in May of 2019. While in college, she received various scholarships, including the John Weary Art Scholarship and the Oscar V. Larmer Art Scholarship. Her work has been shown in various exhibits in Manhattan, Kansas City, and Overland Park, Kansas. The works Clean Wind Energy and Kansas Trail are published and featured on the cover of the 2019 spring issue of K-State's literary magazine, Touchstone. Currently, she is a preschool teacher at Mount Lutheran Early Learning Center and is pursuing further educa education in art education. Terry Matthews, a lifelong resident of Southwest Kansas, has been creating from an early age. While she prefers oil paint and charcoals when doing traditional artwork, Terry enjoys the simplicity of acrylic and pencil as well. Terry has been an avid photographer for many years, photographing her love of travel and concerts with every intention of using these photos as a reference 
for paintings and drawings later. Terry has participated in the Garden City Downtown Vision Banner Arts for the last four years. For the last two years, she has had a photo, photo accepted in the Five State Photography Competition in Hayes, Kansas. Terry prides herself in never using Photoshop or any other editing tool on her photos. Terry is a self-taught photographer whose method is to just get out into the world and photograph what she considers unique, interesting, and beautiful. She is inspired by the colors, shadows, and light of the natural world and attempts to capture this in its purest form. Her love for nature and unique architecture are what she loves to photograph. She is especially inspired by the point where both settings meet and create something eerie and vaguely disturbing. Kendra Oliphant is a Garden City native. She attended Garden City Community College before finishing her degree in agronomy at Fort Hay State University. After college, she returned home and now works for the Garden City Co-op as a precision ag specialist. Kendra enjoys painting with acrylic in an abstract format most. She has no formal training, but fondly remembers her time learning basic art techniques in Mrs. Gear's fourth grade art class at Florence Wilson Elementary School. She has always had a creative heart and hopes that people feel love and hope when they see her work. Kendra would like to dedicate this exhibit to her late grandmother, Verla Howland, whose art has always inspired and encouraged her to continue to create. Tara Bolden said this about her work. I never met a stencil I didn't like. In fact, I love to use them in all of my artwork in some way or another. My approach to artwork has two sides. It's either very detailed in a photorealistic manner with the stencils taking a back seat, or it's whimsical with the stencils playing a major part in the art story. All of my work is a combination of spray paints and acrylics. I started out as an art major in college a long time ago and had two professors strongly urge me to attend an art institute, but my fear of big cities changed my direction and my course of study to education. After 33 years, I recently retired from teaching in a public school system and have poured my energy into creating works of art that I hope will appeal to all ages.